walking around here, it, it, it is super modern. It's super European. It's mm -hmm. like if 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 I, if if I didn't see that the menu on the on the chalkboard was in Serbsky, and if I didn't look out and <laughs> see the obvious Banja Luka <laughs> skyline of yeah. concrete. <laughs> But it's amazing. It is. It is. We we had a, um, a group of uh, the designers are also from LU Architect. Those are also. It's basically, the owners had their friends who are architects. Their their painting friends. It's just their friends that helped them made the restaurant look the way it is now. It it it, it it's super modern, and it's it's serving food that is quite. Can I say anti-Balkan? I mean, it's not meat-loaded no, for a start. For, for, for one thing, we have no red meat, red meat in the restaurant. We only have chicken and turkey. And, of course, seafood. Those are the only meat. And so a lot of people, when they come in here, they're like, you don't have meat? I was like, no, but we, but we have sarma, meatless sarma. <laughs> meatless sarma. Meatless sarma. You can see on the board, veg, veggie sarma. <laughs> So Sarmageddon has actually come to, to Zen as well. <laughs> yes, yes. We, and it's quite amazing. Now, when people taste it, first, you know, pe people are kind of cautious. You know, I would say cautious, going like, no, I don't want to taste it. You know, that, that sounds disgusting. You know, like something without meat. Like, I personally know my husband, when there's no meat, he eats not food. He eats meat with meat. And a side order and of meat. And a side order of meat, yes. But then I guess we're still introducing, you know, you know like... It's not only meat that you need to eat. You have other other dishes that can su supplement all the nutrition that you need for your body, which are not not only meat. Like for example, now we have uh, tofu. Not a lot of people in the Balkans know what tofu is. Not like uh, a lot of our, our, our customers when they come and they ask, "What is tofu?" We have tofu burger. You have a burger without meat? Yes, it's called tofu burger. And we have to explain to them what tofu is, like what Satan is, you know, like the variety of, like our cakes are, we have a lot of um, sweets that are also without eggs, with like they're veggie, without eggs, milk, non-gluten. And people are, they're, they're still adapting, adapting to it. And it's, it's coming along, I would say, well, it's very like, we're really, getting a lot of good customers and good comments about our meals. So. I was talking to the celebrity chef of Banja Luka, Predrag uh, mm -hmm. Tosic, about introducing new food. You know, somebody contacted me on YouTube and said, David, I'd like to open... He was from India, and he said, I'd like to come and open an Indian restaurant. I had to say, um, wouldn't plan on doing that in the next five years, mm -hmm. because Predrag was telling me that people from Banja Luka and people from the wider um, Western Balkans are very, very reluctant to change. Yes, yes. Having said that, when we came in here today to talk to you, you said, "Shall we go upstairs?" and and it was packed. Yes, it's it's like every uh, on our really good days, uh, people are just waiting outside for for. You seat. have lineup. Yes, we have lineup, but and then we have people calling for reservations, like on the very good days. People call, for, and then we'll say, "Okay, you can come in, but you have to wait for free." free seats we have no free seats and also the, the good thing about this restaurant we have a lot of kids who are allergic to gluten we have non-gluten bread we have non-gluten dishes we have we have I would say we have a lot of things that peop people people uh, like different diet dietary can get from our from us we we which is a good thing like and we have diabetic diabetics you know like I had. They, they would say we haven't. I haven't. A woman actually a couple of nights ago. She came and was like, "Thank you for having this. I have. I've had. I haven't had a sweet like a cake, just a cake, a slice of gab had it for five years." And she came and she had cake here because we have like sugar-free cakes. We have. We use um, ste from stevia, from co coconut sugar, and agave syrup and dates. That, that's that's how we. Those are the sweeteners we use in our cakes. And she's like, you know, thank you very much. Like, for five years, I literally, you know, like, had no sugar, nothing sweet. I was like, well, come on in. <laughs> we have some, we have everything you need right here. You're working here. Mm -hmm. um, you're front of house. Um, but there's a lot of work going on yeah. behind the scenes, making all these super dishes. Um, 
and everything. How did that sort of like, or did it, or did it not affect you to get to the place where I saw you on television? How the heck did you get on a celebrity cookery show on television? Uh, I applied. <laughs> did you know somebody that rang no, up? No, no, no. <laughs> One of my one of my call one of my colleagues. She actually she's she works in the kitchen. One of the cooks. She she told she asked me one day. Sheila, would you like to go on Look Illy Med? That's the name of television. I'm like, sure, why not? I don't, I didn't even know what that was. Until two weeks later, I realized that's a television show. It's like, what the hell? Are you crazy? Like, I'm not gonna go on television. And she's like, let's go. Let's just go try it out. And I was like, ah, oh, what the heck? Let's go. Let's try it out. Whatever. We we actually just went on to have fun, to have to do something different. What was the experience like? I mean, cooking at home, mm-hmm. cooking in a restaurant is one thing. Doing preparation yeah. and, and 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 all the rest with the with all your neighbours, those gang of girls, yeah. and everybody else looking at you. The stress must have been awful. I didn't know. Uh, no, <laughs> it's like no. I was a born superstar. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> Uh, no, no, it was. I don't know. I just it's. I mean, that's nothing special. Like it's just. Well, outside. it would be special to me if somebody <laughs> said, "Will you go and look, Ellie?" Yeah, like every. Um, one morning, I was I was walking to work actually, and right behind me was an older woman walking her dog, and I was walking. She was like, "Hey, Cine!" <laughs> like, hey, Cine! I was like, and I was like, "Okay, someone talking to me." And I looked back, and she was like, "Were you on Look, Illy, man?" I was like, "Yeah, I was." <laughs> Like everybody, I guess everybody. It's a, I mean, I mean, Banya Luka is small. It's a very, it's a very small, small community. It's a very, I mean, it's a very, very small city. Everybody knows everybody. Like everybody watches the same. We don't have like million of television shows. We just have alternative. It's, I mean, it's quite logical that everybody here will, will see. And I guess I'm not, not every day they see it. Micronesian on their television, <laughs> so it was not quite an experience, but it was it was okay. I laughed through it.